Research in Motion, the company behind BlackBerry, has had a rough year. They've been battling serious financial problems and are falling behind iOS and Android for mobile market share. They've also been battling a stodgy reputation attached to BlackBerry phones, which they hope to turn around with their new BlackBerry models. The Z10 and the Q10 unveiled today to eager BlackBerry addicts everywhere. And yes, there are still a few. According to an unofficial PR blitz sponsored by the fanboy site CrackBerry, some people will do just about anything to get their hands on a free one, like this random model who posed for some photos for a BlackBerry 10 because of reasons. Or this man who got a BlackBerry tattoo. Did he learn nothing from that wrestler, Eric Hartsburg? Today's first big announcement, gone is RIM. Now the company is just calling itself BlackBerry. We've seen some BlackBerry Z10s floating around at CES, and we know that it has a touchscreen keyboard that incorporates heat mapping, which BlackBerry says will deliver the best experience in typing on mobile. The Q10 has the classic BlackBerry QWERTY keyboard. But at the great unveiling this morning, BlackBerry demoed a new BlackBerry 10 experience, the new OS that is, that's more social, more media focused, more game friendly, and yet still as business-like as ever. Tying it all together is a new style of UI called Flow, which lets users move between apps and tasks using a swipe motion and a hub feature that takes place of the home screen based UI you'll find on iOS, for example. Do they mention they have apps? All of the apps, 70,000 apps to be specific, including Skype, WhatsApp, and yes, even Angry Birds, the largest inventory of any first gen platform, all accessible on BlackBerry World. Also available on BlackBerry World are movies, TV, and music, such as Alicia Keys, who apparently the folks of BlackBerry are a big fan of. A big enough fan that they've named her their new global creative director, along with some other partners like Neil Gaiman to show how Blackberries are for artists now, not just for stodgy business people anymore. When can you get it? Very soon. The United States in March, early February in Canada, and tomorrow in the UK. Pricing will vary by carrier. What are your impressions? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. For TFN, this is Annie.